welcome to the very first episode of a new series that's going to be on Built Tough's channel. Uh, it's called A&B Garage, and the first project for A&B Garage is working on my 74 Ford F250 4.9 straight 6. We're going to be replacing both fan belts. Yeah, in 74 they went autistic and put both fan belts. You don't need two fan belts, but... Um, the, f the hood situation is a little sketchy. You got the, uh, you got the quarter inch bolt going on here, which is a little sketch, but it's anti-theft. You got to push down, pull out, and push that way at the same time. She's just going to be banded. We're going. Okay. So this is the, uh, $15 Walmart edition, uh, worker dealy thing. You just it's hang real it. nice. You just so. hang it from your old, uh, hood hinge, fellas. She keeps you warm. Oh in yeah, the cold it gets hotter. Winter days. It gets hotter than the sun. Wait a minute, George. She's just factory. First. There step. we are. And then you just take you, your other end. You fellas. plug the tinker into the dink, and you make the tinker dink. Oh yeah, we got a work light now. It's factory. All right. There's a rule for A and B's garage. Wait, let me see the situation you're in right now. The situation is, I'm stuck, but the situation, the second one is, we do, your light's not bright, I have dust in my eye. We do not lie, and there's no drama on A and B's garage. But that took us 30 minutes to tie up, so that's looking great for us putting on two fan belts. It's okay, it's gonna be some great lighting as y'all see in a up. second. Okay, 15 minutes later, we're still trying to figure out how to get this thing. He was on. getting out. We had it right, as you can see. Getting it out, it just went <laughs> and knocked him out almost. Yeah, you know, I woke up and Adam had my pants halfway off. I'm not even sure how to respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're so we're just we're see. You want your hat fellers to be resting on the good and hot exhaust manifold. Yeah, Woo. she's just gonna be bending <laughs> when you have a certain waiter. I mean, you're not lying. I know. Uh, you know, uh, I was going to say something, but I'll be a little more filtered up. But, you know, screw the pink feminine wire. We're just going to go all masculine on this bitch. Man, don't film my stupidest. So we're about 45 minutes in after we said 30 minutes later <laughs> trying to get this light hung up. He's I'm telling like, you, it's taken us longer to do this than it will change the belts. And, but we can't do but, the belts And the I'm light. on a god dang potty stuff. <laughs> All right, contact. Run. Watch the hood springs just give out. Now, Look at that lighting. Now, that's going to be hotter than the sun. Now we can get to work. Look, I'm actually hot now. Ooh, uh, Brooks, uh, let me get you uh, the hat you need for the job. Yeah, that's my garage hat, actually. I do need that, except I don't want to wash my hair again. Who's your name? I thought I, you're, you're not Brooks. I don't know who that is. Quinn1836, what's up? I mean, I thought my name was Jonathan. The Russians and the Mexicans have joined forces. Go grab the 45. Scoot him up. Straight six easily gets the job done, but as you can see, there's a little bit there's a little bit more room in here. We could drop maybe two or three four sixties well, brooks. Had, it's had a it came from the factory with a 351. Ooh, that's cold. With a 350 see on your truck. That is hot. Oh, my truck is cold. Um, well, my truck, what, last time you touched the hood, it was summer degrees over 100 plus, and, you know, it was sitting in traffic, and, well, that Flowmaster definitely helps the, helps her get up the temp faster. But it came from the factory, the 351s, 5.8 liter, and then my grandfather's like, no, 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 you know I love what? It's what? so unnecessary, what? but it's at a junkyard. Just hold on one second. Yeah. Let me drop in a 460, 7.5 liter, and then that throws a run. He's like... 4.9, 300, and this motor only has 20,000 miles on it, but because it sat so long, everything's really dry rotted. We put a new power steering pump in it. Uh, ooh, watch the radiator. Um, and then we're about to change the fan belts, which will take us shorter. God dang. It won't take us as long to do that as it did to set up the sun. I mean, I don't know what's up with all this global warming stuff from the tailpipe. It's really coming from that. It's those, really coming from It's coming from those god dang Walmart Eat your heart, lamp eat your heart out, Thunberg. Uh, we don't worry about Greta on this channel. Uh, she's just a... Uh, 
She's at the top of the list of uh, teenage. teenage thoughts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to explain to him your battery situation, how much yeah, better? Yeah, just one second. Uh, give me the green flashlight, Detractor. Bro, so you the told me, flashlight. you told me, hold up, you told me you're driving through a couple days to go on the east side, and uh, you told me you I got know, shot at? I got shot at by a bunch of white people. I freaking hate white people. I know. I mean, God, anything but white lives matter. Is it right? Can you? Yes, it is. <laughs> Freaking, am I right, bro? Anything but white lives matter? Yeah, Greta lives matter. Greta all the way, baby. So he's going to explain to us his battery situation. Last time I saw this, this looks factory all the way. Well, first let's discover what the smell of gasoline is. Well, it ain't leaking, so we're okay. Ah, we're fine. You know, she runs rich. Mean Green, you smell gas all the time. She's always That's running rich. But... Um, so the battery... Let me borrow this. You can see it is not factory and rusted through down there. So my grandfather, instead of replacing bro, the... Bro, the this is dangerous and poison. Bro, we, this is how I cook my scrambled eggs every morning. I know, I just set two screwdrivers on there and just... <laughs> get some. So you gotta have um, you gotta have your your war. Um, I'm questioning that. Uh... Ah, that's fine. No, it, see what that does is it flaps in the wind and it, it charges the battery. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it sloshes the acid around. Anyway. No, but that piece of wood does. So though. we actually just put this one on today. That one is not necessarily too new, but it's not that bad. Um, so you gotta have your styrofoam, your war, and your free wood. So let's get into actually what we came here to do. Right? Right. Wait a minute. Something's missing here. Oh, that's better. Okay, we got it. <clears throat> we need a half inch to take off the old Happener juicer maker so we don't electrocute ourselves on the Ultiminator. Uh, does this one generate power to the homeless? No, this one gener ge <laughs> generates... I thought people on Mars, right? No, to the Chinese. Well, yeah, people on Mars. Chinese, Mars, same thing. And North Koreans. Uh, yeah. With Kim Jong Un. Un, Un. You know, it sounds like someone's gagging when they say the name Kim Jong Un. I hope he watches this. Come and get us. Come and get us. Straight six, 350. 12 gauge, 22. <laughs> I don't need to disconnect the positive because that's only going to the solenoid, but I'm going to. Just to be on the safe side. We don't want no sparks while we are... Um... We like sparkulators, but not sparks. Okay, yeah, now... Sparkulators are still fine and almost factory over there. But those are worry. auto lights. We'll check those another we day. We ain't running champions now. Oh, you're kidding me. Wait a second. Well, we're just sitting here editing and... We don't even know what the hell's going on. So let alone you viewers. So if you want to click away, leave a like down below and comment hashtag no more Greta and that's all we need from you. Yeah, that's fine. It's happening in 2020, by the way. <laughs> and? Uh, oh yeah, it's getting us. Uh, I ain't no doctor, but she's steaming pretty good in there. Uh, holy God. I know, it's sticky. That rope, uh, we'll let it sit for a little bit. And no, we're going to give it the old cut down or thingamajig. We'll figure it out later. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and remember to subscribe. No, leave it hanging. Leave it hanging. No, I ain't. Okay, I just want to point something out. We started at quarter to eight. Hold up. And it is now 8.24. The belts are still in place. We don't even have the right wrench yet. <laughs> we don't need these rollers. And uh, we don't need this light either because this is going to actually kill us and <laughs> give us cancer. Apart. So uh, we're just going to we'll figure something unplug this out. baby and, you know, uh, uh, we're just going to toss her over by the coal rolling lawnmower. I know we're about probably six, seven minutes into the video and y'all haven't learned anything yet. But, <laughs> no, you've you know, learned not to learn from us. It's built tough, so we're fine. It's a Briggs and Strat and it'll always, it'll go forever. Now... Now we're going to actually start teaching you a couple things. No, we're not. Realistically, no, we're it. not. No, we're not. You might as well just click away no. from it. No, don't listen to it. Just click away. Uh, Le leave a dislike and comment down below if you have cancer.
All right, alternator bolts off. Just about, ooh, she was in there pretty loose. That's okay, it's there. gonna go flying that way, so let me take a grab at it. Well, that didn't bolt. move. I got your bolt. You don't have to say that again. Well, realistically, that should move. Um, I ain't no doctor, but... You don't need to take that off. We don't need to take that bolt off? Nope. Oh, is there one back here? Nope. I'm pretty sure there is, right? Oh, there. yeah, I gotta loosen it. Damn it. Ah! Oh! Uh, different size, of course. Hey, it wouldn't be fun if we didn't have to struggle. Move. No, it's only been an hour, and we've removed one bolt, nearly burnt the truck to the ground. Sock it and suck it. <laughs> We've only removed one bolt. This bolt for the alternator right here. We just gotta get this other one, which of course you know, as you saw, is a different size. I'm gonna check to make sure. Yeah, that's the last, last dude we'll have to take off. Then belt should come off actually Let's pretty nice. Let's make a nice. list of completely banal observations that Adam Oop, Built Tough seems to make. Wow. Try that. Got you. Wait. Wait. No, we're good. Did it fit? Yeah. Woohoo! Are we gonna need to get that socket out that we had earlier? I'll fly away. No. I said. The sad part is. We are actually struggling. <laughs> we're not. We're not joking around. I gotta hit it with some PB Blaster. PB Blaster. Even better. Actually loosens up the rust. This is just Mr. Amberger is going to watch the video and go, not happening. Yeah, not happening. Do you want me to hold the light? Oh, you hold that. I didn't yep. know you are still filming. God dang, don't want to break the truck in the process. It's actually lifting it up. God. Hold on. Well, I don't want to strip the bolt or something. I know. This is actually scaring me. Hang on. Let, let's use intimates of destruction move. That's not the right word. But hold yeah. On. You know some, Nate, right, when you're actually lifting the front end of the truck up while you're trying to take out the bolt. So I'm guessing this is going to be an episode one of A and B's Garage, and we're not even going to get the task we're trying to accomplish done. I think Brooks is actually dying. Yeah, he's leaving. He's actually on the road now. Yeah. Follow the trail of blood. How many rednecks does it take to change two fan belts on a 74 Ford? Evidently more than two. They're just having a stand back. One day in the year where somebody doesn't freak out hearing somewhat noise and think it's a gun. It's the hat I wear to the garage. See, I'll have dirty hands, not thinking. I'll go, well, we could do that. And that's how that happens. Here's what we're, you know what? We might as well just, block. here's what we're thinking. All right, we've been here for over an hour. We got the first bolt out. <laughs> and we've I don't got, know where it is. It's in my pocket. You're okay. fine. We've got one bolt done. We took the battery connections off. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> bolt has stabbed me. It has popped my arm out of place. It's given me PTSD. His arm is just like stroked out. I mean, my arm is like, look, they're not even even anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and this bolt, which we need to loosen so the alternator can pivot, is just not happening. We believe, pardon my French, is factory tight. With extra gunk reinforced. What we need, then, see the thing is, we couldn't even get a gun in there. We need Mr. Amberger's strong arms. Um, I would have better luck taking the 
torque converter bolts out with my, my hand, with my tongue, then I would have more luck getting that out at this hour. We're thirsty, we're tired, we're injured. Look at that, man. I'm bleeding in four places. One, two, three, four. Is that time the month? Um. You know, you see, this was just the intro to a and B Garage, like, Showing what we're capable of, which is not much. <laughs> Look, this is not a good in, a good first episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to put episode two, or episode five, season one. <laughs> and then we'll do episode... Or episode one, season five. <laughs> then we're going to go, oh no, actually, you just started tuning in. Um, we can just not get that bolt out. No matter what, it's going to be on in the next week or two. I mean, you may not see it or not, but next update week. on the truck. Year. Year or two. Yeah, that's true. These belts will be dry rod. You know what would work?